we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, help us to receive help this dawn. With our lives, may we witness that we're your children as witnesses. Surely at this dawn, we believe we will receive help. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Please repeat after me, sheep. Let's greet the person next to us. Let's do more well. Let's do more well. Let's surely do more well. Those people who haven't even done it once, let's do it again. When you say for others to do more well, it's me to do well. So even though you're told to do the things to receive blessings, so you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm just forced to do it. So you just do it once. But if your heart is genuine, then you receive what's genuine. But if you're just doing it half-heartedly, that's what comes back to me. Why is it when I stand here? So me being here, it's not just me talking. I'm fighting with the evil spirits inside of you. And that's why Jesus, he, he felt so tired. The university, you know, professors, the teachers, when they lecture for one hour, you know, if they're thirsty, they'll drink, you know, they do all these things. But after one or two hours, even the university professors, how many hours do they lecture? They can't do many hours. So even that, it's it's like that. But here, it's a spiritual battle. So, you know, you do end up doing things that are beyond your, you know, you're beyond what you can imagine. So, oh, if that person could just fix this and they could see and see the blessings in front of them. So in order for that to happen, that's what a pastor does. And so I have to receive a judgment again in front of God. So when I see you not receiving and I just leave you alone, that's a fake. In other words, that's a false teacher, someone who doesn't know and who lies because God knows that's why you can't do well. So, so God's will is that you do well. So to tell others that, that is love. And as much as you love, you receive. So, you know, when, when have you loved? It's when you're genuine to those, to the people next to you. So there's, there's nothing as easy as receiving blessings. If your heart's at peace, so the more love you have, the more your heart's at peace. So because your heart's at peace, because you do well, you don't need drugs or alcohol, the things that are good in the world, no matter how good they are. There's no, there's hardly anything that is worthy to be in heaven. And that's why, you know, marriages are good on, on, on this in this world, but that it's, we don't have that in heaven. So even you see these older people who they get match made and they're, they're kicking up a fuss to get married. And the children are like, oh, we didn't know our parents would be like that. But that's how much they're getting married. But something that good, we don't have that in heaven. Those scraps, you know, you, they're not the things that are in heaven. So there's only good things in heaven. And even on this earth, once you taste of this love, you don't need those things. You know, on this earth, what's more important than love is to eat. Even even for food, people will give up their bodies. That's that's the reality. But but God's word, you even forget to eat. That's how sweet it is. It's sweeter than honey. If you've never tasted of this, you don't know. So I when I tell you what I've eaten, what I haven't eaten, you know who can't who can't fast for one day? Anyone could do that. That's not what I'm trying to say. This word, because it's. Sweeter than honey, you don't know that the time passes, and so then you know you end up skipping meals, and that's what I'm witnessing. So I'm saying this this is better than to eat. But people who haven't tasted of this, they still don't know God's love. So to be someone who can genuinely love someone else, you have to love yourself genuinely to be able to love someone else, and that's why it's only those who obey the truth. 
That's when they truly love their neighbor. And if you love, let's find Proverbs chapter 8, verse 21. This is the blessing you receive. He has prepared incredible blessings and God is saying, take them. So yesterday, I became richer than one of the wealthy uh, conglomerates in our country. So, you know, the as I was talking to that company, they were saying, oh, you have to give more money. So I was like, oh, I said, well, thank you, because I'm, I'm above you. I'm richer than you. And so their eyes became big and round. You know, so in, in the world, it looks like they're wealthy. But when they asked me to pay more, I said, yes, well, I'm richer than your company, so I will give it to you. And in one move, I'd won. So above that company is me, is you. So you say amen. But then when you go out, you know, you keep crawling underneath that company. That's your thoughts and your theories. That's Proverbs chapter 12, verse 14. So if you want to win or lose about a person with someone else, what determines that? Just because you have two bowls of food, that doesn't mean you win. It depends on your heart. And that's why Proverbs 4, verse 23, life and death depends on your heart. So even though you keep being trained in this world, when you actually go out, you actually go out practically in, in, in a battle, you just lose, you just lie down. Every time you're told to win, you say amen here, but once you go out, you lose. And that's because you haven't been trained in this. You're not trained in the godliness. So if you have him in your heart and you have that heart of love, if you have genuine love, whatever happens, you're at peace, you're calm. There's, you know, you don't have any fluctuating because you're on the rock. That's the person that receives blessings today. So if problems come, you're like, oh, what am I going to do? Already, already, you know, God, he doesn't want, he doesn't want you to get hysterical and make a fuss. When he gives you that, that danger, he's, he's testing to see, are you styrofoam or are you on the rock? So if God's always with me, God can make what is dead to be alive. Romans chapter four, verse 17. He can make what isn't to be. So, so if he, the source of all blessings, if he's with me and I receive help the, at dawn, he's with me the whole day to help me, to give me blessings, then why? Why would you be flapping up and down? In other words, God's not with me. So someone who doesn't receive help at dawn, because God's not with me, the smallest thing that happens and you, you start to, you know, you start jumping up and down. So then you're jumping up and down the whole day and then you fall. So this word where he helps us at dawn, this is an incredible word. Why is it that I'm not at peace? Oh, pastor, I'm so at peace that I'm falling asleep. No, it's not that you're uh, at peace. You're not eating your food. Soon, other people have eaten, but soon, because you're hungry, your eyes are going to flip over. So at this time, you have to eat. Please eat. So God says he'll give us the best things. Well, why is I'm, I'm not receiving these good things? Why do I keep getting difficulties? You know, these days, they cows are, aren't very expensive. But when we were young, in the, in the countryside, you know, cows are a wealth. You know, they would, they would educate their children by selling a cow. That's how expensive. But these days, a cow wouldn't even cover your, your enrollment fees. But So once you buy a cow, how good was it? Because there's a lot of benefit in your farming. And, and so you bought a cow. After you buy a cow, why would you beat it? Well, if it goes the wrong way, you beat it so it'll go the right way. Even though you like it so much, you'll do that. So when God gives us problems, when there's difficulties, it's because I'm crooked in that area. Why do I keep having difficulties in money? Because you're crooked in money. You have, there's something you have to repent of. Why is it my health isn't good? Well, there's something crooked in your, in your health. Whatever your problem is, so you, even though he's taught you, 
You ask, well, what's my problem? Whatever problem you have, that's your problem. So let's receive help at dawn. How easy is this? How simple is this? This is so precious. You know, I find this so funny. I find this so good. You know, sometimes if I want to give you the word, sometimes it's so far off from your reality. It, you, you can do well now, but you keep saying that you can't do well. And that's why I keep smiling. I keep laughing. For me, I've tried it and it works. And you say it doesn't. So I find it strange. Has God put the blessings behind you, beside you? He's put them in front of you. So if you're not receiving, are you going straight or are you going around? So you know. You know, I can't understand. God says He's put the blessings in front of you. He hasn't put them beside you or behind you. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15. So the blessings are right in front of you. So then where have you gone? It means you've gone crookedly. You've gone somewhere else. So he does according to your actions. Oh, but pass, I went straight ahead. No, you went crookedly. Oh, the cow's like to the master. Why are you hitting me? Because the cow's like, I'm going straight. No, when the master sees, the owner sees, you've gone crookedly. So what am I like? What am I like? Oh, this thing, it's just not being fixed. Well, no, because you haven't tried to. You haven't repented of it. Oh, but I have. Well, your ancestors have passed it down to you again. If you keep going crookedly to the right, you say you've repented to God. But yes, you may have. But because your ancestors didn't pray to fix that, your ancestors, things have come down. So without you realizing you're going crookedly, you look. Those people who are drunk on the streets, you say, why are you going so crookedly? They're like, what do you mean? If you ask them, they think they're walking straight ahead. But that's what we think we're doing. You're like, why? Why is my personality not being fixed? You think that you're fixing it by repenting. But what your ancestors haven't done, what they haven't done, that comes down again. So that's why you're you're going you're you're swaying again. So it's not just to pray about my own, but your ancestors, your parents, three and four generations. It's come down. Is this Amen? So repenting of this, this dawn, that is loving God. You know, you think, oh loving God, oh I love you, God. No. Fixing my wrongs, that is loving him. My wrongs. God, He's always, He's just. So me fixing those things, that's loving God. Who does God love? Who is He pleased with? Those who serve Christ. What's Christ? Someone who repents and changes their bad things into good. So what are you like? Uh, are you going the way of ruin? So here it says, to those who love him, he makes their their wealth overflow. Let's read Proverbs chapter 8, verse 21. To endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Amen. So you say that you love God. Many people are like, I love God too. No. What is it to love God? It's to do well. If you're not doing well and you say you love God, that's a lie. If you're not doing well, there's something that you haven't loved. If you love Him, you will even receive wealth. Oh, but I'm not able to receive wealth. Well, according to yesterday's word, you're committing fornication. In your household, or you look at someone close to you, or look at yourself. If you can't win over fornication, then you You'll be ruined. You'll be ruined by money. You'll get some difficulty. Straight away, your household will get some some difficulty. Those people who are living within poverty, why is it that my household, me, I'm so... I'm so poor. It's because you're filled with fornication. We heard the word yesterday. So if I have these thoughts of fornication, if I'm tied to fornication, it's because you're focused on living for your flesh, not for God. Matthew 
chapter 6, verse 24. Let's find that. So, because we can't do two things, you, if you love your flesh, so as soon as you have money, as soon as people are able to feed them themselves, they go to the way of fornication. Once you start fornication, then you go towards poverty. That was the word that God gave us last night. So, you receiving help at dawn, you can't love this and that. If you love your flesh, you don't have love the love of God. If you love God, you don't have fornication. Does that mean you live as someone who's disabled? Who says that? Someone who eats food the whole day, there's there's something sick about that person. If you eat food at the right time, there's nothing wrong with that. So if something is too extreme or if it's or is it normal? But I can't know if I'm being extreme or normal because you're so focused on yourself. But God's word te- te- teaches us. So Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Amen. So if you love me, I will give you so much money and you will you'll obtain it and you can store it up. But now we've realized it's because we haven't loved God that we haven't received money. Well, you say you love God, but out of the two, you haven't loved God, you've loved something else. That's what Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 is pointing out. So even now, receiving help at dawn, if you've loved God the most, well, if you're loving God the most, how can you be sleeping here? If you're lo- if you're sleeping, what have you loved? You've loved your flesh. So that person, they're com- they're fully tied up to fornication. When you keep sleeping, I'm sure you've tried it. It's because. You're not able to win over fornication. You're struggling about that. God knows this. Those people who realize this word, they can see with their eyes. And it's like that. People who keep falling asleep. You see people who fall asleep on the bus. Yes, there are people who've worked throughout the whole night. But otherwise, it's those who have committed fornication. They're all sleeping. You have a look. You can see. But what you sin... Because it's demons, because demons are like with like, they act as if they're forgiving. And so then they may do bad things, but they pretend that they don't. You see those people, they they don't bat an eyelid. You know, there are people who fall asleep because they've done vigil or they've fasted. That's okay. But because of their sin of fornication, and then they fall asleep, but you know, even though they've done those, they've committed fornication, they fall asleep. They act like as if it's nothing. They they don't feel a thing. That's because they're deceived by themselves. So if you love your flesh, have you loved God or not? So now you know. The word tells us. So if I love God, then money is unlimited. But I haven't loved God. I've loved fornication. I've loved my flesh. And so of course you can't do well. So he says he'll help us at dawn. But it's, I'm the one that keeps going the way to not receive help. So after this dawn service, there'll be another problem coming up. What's that problem? Are you going to love God or are you going to love this? You know, out of the two, which one are you going to do? So Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15, he's put the blessings in front of me. So if we love God, we could take those blessings. But instead of loving God, we're like, oh, this is better. And then you go off to the side crookedly. And so then after that, God, he hits us again with a problem. An hour, you know, an hour ago, you are already, you were upset. But an hour later, then something worse happens. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to quit. And then you start making excuses. Oh, it's because they serve demons. When your demons are worse. And that's how we fall. And then you say, oh, I'm going to hand in my resignation. And then you're not able to be patient and you end up doing the wrong things. And then you act as if you followed God. No. If you please God, 
you also, you're also praised by man. Is this amen? This is the blessing we all have to receive at dawn. Everywhere we go to become someone who receives praise. And so that's glory to God, blessings to us, and to pass blessings to our children. May we become patriots. So Romans chapter 14, verse 18, let's find that. So if you please God, if you become someone who loves God, then you're also praised by man. God, He's so good. You know, yesterday I was in the car with with Nathan and Deacon Jong, and you know what he said? He was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't know he'd graduated from 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 um from music. So I thought I copied him. And he was just doing that too. And later he realized and he was like, <laughs> you know, he was so excited to do that. And then he realizes his grandfather's doing it. And then he got all shy and he's like, <laughs> so what is that? He, it means it's good. So if things are good, something comes out, praise. So you should have joy and praise. And if you don't know praise, something should be coming out, but nothing does. And a little bit, you smile here, a little bit later, you're like this. Instead of going toward praise, you're going towards concrete. So you're going the opposite way. So that I'm like, oh, instead of taking the blessings, you're going backwards. And then you say you're not doing well. You know, look at your face. It's the expression of going backwards. And then you say it's not in front of you. Today, God, he's put unlimited blessings in front of me. Why? Why can't I take them? When you can't go, hmm, hmm, then, then, you can't take that, but that doesn't mean just go anywhere. That doesn't mean you just go <laughs> anywhere. It means to live joyfully. That is God's will. Let's do well. Oh, but I'm not joyful now. Well, you know, you might as well sleep then. You can snore. We will do well. So what have we found? Let's read about pleasing God. For he who in this way serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved of by men. Amen. So someone who pleases God, it's when you serve Christ. So if I love God, if I try to please God, it's when you wash with the blood of Christ and when you change to genuine love, it's when you change, then you don't serve two masters. You only serve God. If When you only serve Him, that's when you also receive praise. You receive praise from others. Why is it everywhere I go I don't have popularity? But you're not pleasing God. Who's going to praise you? No, they won't. I went to a restaurant in the morning. I said, you know, I said, you, I said, please receive blessings because you've worked hard all night long to wait for me. And, and they're like, oh, pastor, that makes sense. But they were actually working hard to earn money. But when the pastor comes, you know, and he says, oh, you did this for me. Well, they're saying, oh, that makes sense. In other words, the demon inside of them, that person doesn't believe in Jesus. When I, when, when I told them to believe, they, they believe in some other religion. But they're like, oh, that makes sense. So in other words, they're, they're agreeing. They're, 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 they're relating to me. So I thought, you know what? The Holy Spirit's working inside of you. How could you but not understand what I'm saying? So wherever you go, whatever happens, every time something happens, it's because you've loved that. You haven't loved God. So if you realize rightly, and then when you do four-step repentance, so if you act completely, you become righteous. So then I receive blessings, my children receive blessings. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. 
And then Exodus chapter 20, verse 5 and 6, a thousand generations do well. So today, how am I going to live? By this dawn's help, for me to do well, my children to do well, and to be a patriot to this country. I bless this in the Lord's name. So when you go out and you have problems, it's because it's saying to love God, but you've loved that instead. You say, oh, I'm, my personality is not right with my spouse. It's because of the sin of fornication. Seven, eight out of, um, times out of ten, you know, you say, oh, it's our personalities clash. No, it's all because of fornication. There's nothing else. So with fornication, the only thing that comes back is poverty. Why in these good times? Why is it that all these households have problems with money? It's all because of fornication. Let's realize The sin of fornication, you're left with a loaf of bread. So everything's ruined and you're neither living nor dying, but you just you just have you know that that loaf of bread. If you have a heart like that, everywhere you go, everywhere else may receive blessings, but you only receive that loaf of bread. So let's receive help at dawn and let's wake up. There's nothing but victory now. When I do well, my children do well. With this, let's be healthy. Let's receive blessings. Let's only love God. Let's do well unlimitedly and have our desires fulfilled. Let's all pray. How good is God? So it's for us to receive these blessings together. You know, how? How can I express this for you to know how good this is? The greatest thing in this world You know, I never even imagined there's, there was a brand like that or that someone had made that. But they just bring these things all over the world. Even yesterday, I went and had a look with one of the deacons to have a look at uh, that blessing. But God's saying, receive these and store them up. Excuse me. So when you don't have these, it's because you haven't loved. You haven't loved God. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 21. If you've loved, he'll give it to you. You say, but I've loved God. No, you've loved something else. You've loved something else. Whatever you've loved, that's what's come as a problem in front of you. Oh, pastor, my right foot hurts. Well, you've loved your right foot. Oh, my bottom hurts. You've loved your bottom. Oh, my head hurts. You've loved your head. You've loved something else. So whatever problem has come up, if you repent of that, then you become someone who loves God. And if you love God, you'll receive everything that he gives to you. Today, let's be victorious. Oh, my child's not doing well in this. That's my sin. If I repent of it, they'll do well, I'll do well. So let's all do well in the best way. Don't worry about your children. That problem is for, for me to repent. So children are the the most obedient of obedient children, and they're God's heritage, will do more well. So you say it's a problem now? We'll do more well. We will do more well. Let's all receive this blessing. God's saying, take it, take it. It's because you won't take it that he gives you problems. So don't say that problem is a headache. If you repent of it, you'll receive blessings. Let's all pray. Father, Thank you for making us realize. If we realize, we can change to become a man of honor. So may we do forced out repentance completely to become righteous. The righteous have their desires fulfilled. Their children do more well. The saints of, of Pusan First Church, those who know the mystery of God, may we all receive amazing blessings. May our lives do well to become witnesses. We believe we have received help this dawn. In Jesus' name. We thank you and bless. Amen.